Hi, this is Achilles from SolarJuice and this video is about the operation of Opal Storage. In the previous video, I have demonstrated on how commissioning the Opal Storage, which means that the inverter, BMU and the batteries are all set up. Now let's turn on the whole system again. When the Opal Storage are on, let's first look at the status. Now the inverter is showing normal, it means that we have sufficient PV power enough battery capacity and accessible to the grid. Today I will introduce you four operating scenarios of Oppo storage. First I use a multi-circuit to represent as main switchboard and it is connected back to the grid where the CT is installed. We also have another multi-circuit to represent as EPS load. This cable is coming from the grid side of the upper storage. So if there's any demand, the inverter will be supplying power to the load as first priority. If the load is satisfied, the excess power will be charging to the battery as second priority. And in this case, if the battery is fully charged, the power will be fed back to the grid as third priority. You can either see from the screen or use your phone connecting to the local Wi-Fi to check operating status. The first scenario is on a clear day when grid is available. As you can see now, there's no load in the system, therefore all generated power is charging the battery. When there's a load where I put two around 50 watts lamp, the inverter will be supplying power to the load first. And then the excess power will be charging the battery. But if the case when the battery is fully charged, the power will be feeding back to the grid. When there's a big load where I prepare a around 2000 watts fan um, dryer, air dryer. When I turn on this, the all PV power is supplying to this at its maximum capacity to the load and all the remaining power will be withdrawn from the battery as you can see. The load for this video that I'm using is approximately 2 kilowatt. The maximum capacity of the inverter can do is 5 kilowatt. So when the PV is sufficient, uh, it is able to supply the load that I'm using for this video. The second scenario is during night when grid is available. On a gloomy day or at night when PV source is not sufficient, the battery will be supplying power to the load as first priority. But if the load power is bigger than the battery discharging power or if the battery is empty, the grid will be back up. I will demonstrate that by switching off the PV switch connect. As you can see now, there's no PV source and battery is supplying power to the load directly. The third scenario is when PV is available but grid is off. Whenever the grid is off, the inverter will be turning into EPS mode. In an EPS mode, the PV will be supplying power to the load as first priority and the battery will be the backup. Now I will demonstrate that by switching off the grid and this circuit will, will be representing the EPS load. Now both of the lamps are off. After about 5 seconds, the EPS mode will be activated. You'll be hearing the beep sound from the inverter. That means the whole system is turning into EPS mode. In an EPS mode, the PV power will be supplying the load first and charge the excess power to the battery. If the EPS load is big, the battery will be back up the power. Please be advised that maximum discharging EPS power of the BMU is around 4 kW, which means that the system can only supply a rated EPS current of around 17 amps. The last scenario is during night when the grid is off. So in this scenario where you don't have both PV supply and grid supply, all EPS load is supplied by the battery directly. As you can see now, the battery is supplying power to the load I put on the socket. This video is about the operation of Oppo storage and I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Achilles from SolarJuice and I'll see you in the next video.